was always fun, ham and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. What about something no big that the kids can help oh, you throw good. together? Yes, okay. I like it. So let's make some lemon coconut bunny tails. That sounds cute. And then next week, if you still want to make them, just call them lemon coconut balls, right? <laughs> so it's kind of a spring That's dessert. Good. So That's I visited good. our bulk aisle to help us out if you just need to grab a few of the ingredients. Now, oatmeal is something that a lot of people already have on hand, but if you right. don't, and you don't want to buy a whole container of it, you can go by the bulk aisle. Is this just like the instant oatmeal or just this what is This is just regular um, just rolled regular. oats, and that's okay. a cup and a half okay. in there um, that we have. Okay? Then we have chia seeds, and this is so where good. it's helpful if you don't need a lot of chia seeds. Because you don't the want a bags big bag. of chia seeds are huge. Right? Yes. So that were yeah, this is actually the stuff that you grow the chia pet thing. <laughs> you know, I mean, I guess you can do greenery as well. <laughs> um, so we're just going to put in a couple of tablespoons. Okay. These are a great source of omega threes, and they fill you up because they kind of swell up a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. So then we're going to put we're going to put a little coconut in here. We're going to put about a quarter cup in there. Okay. And then I'm going to save it for just a second. Okay. okay so you kind of just stir that all together. Okay. You mean stir? Yes, please. And then I have two thirds cup of lemon juice. Now you can get okay. your lemons and squeeze them. You know me, I'm always looking for shortcuts. No, no, no. So this is one of my favorite ones. Um, it is not from concentrate. It's an organic lemon juice. Okay. This is the bomb. Really? Yes. And okay. You Whatever you don't use, tastes really fresh. Yes. You can squeeze it into your water, your okay. tea, any of that. So it's two thirds okay. cup. In there now the the ideal thing is to make this and probably let it sit for about 30 minutes to an let hour. Let the, the oats yeah. kind of soak all that in. Yeah and you're gonna see why in just a minute when I get my hands really messy when we make <laughs> sort of balls. The other thing you can do with this I'll let you stir that in that's okay. about um, a third cup of honey in there fourth cup third cup depending on how sweet you like it. Okay. That is the all-natural honey, the local honey. This time of year, I don't know about y'all, okay, the windstorm last week, <laughs> people, the allergies, you can't breathe. Yes, 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 so yes. So this is something that might help, but it needs to be raw, and it needs to be local. So we do have that on our shelves. So um, you have that on the shelves we of do. United. We okay. do. So you can go over there and grab some. You can use a regular honey as well. That's just a tip for you if, you know, okay. you're, tr you're trying. Okay. So now is the part where it would be nice if we would let it sit because it would form in a, in a little bit ball. Okay. It's still kind of loose and wet because that oatmeal hasn't had a chance. Okay. But you put it in little balls and then you, you kind of turn it over in the coconut um, in there. What, what may be easier um, is also to put them on a little plate and then sprinkle the oatmeal over it. On top. Yes. The other thing I like to do is keep this on hand okay. and then I'll stir it into the oatmeal that I make. So it gives you a little bit of different textures. Really good if you ever make a smoothie bowl. Really? Sprinkle it on, on top. This, yeah, it kind of gives you that taste like spring. A little crunch mm -hmm. and a little extra something. You really could. You really could. You can also stir some almond butter in there. Okay. And get a little bit of protein going in there. So it just depends on what you're wanting to do. I was trying to keep it kind of Eastery and leave it on the lighter side. Yeah. So this might be something that might be good. You know, maybe you're getting ready for church in the morning and trying to get a little something in the kids before you go have. Right. Easter treats or something like that. You have to hold on to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah or sure. before that nice dinner that you right. made. For sure. A good snack in there you can feel good about. Kids get a little sweetness before they dive into some like that. Easter candy. Very good. Okay, well, very good. We're, we've got some more ideas when we come back. Y'all don't go anywhere. <laughs>